Well, my thoughts and the teacher I had, which was my dad, it, it, it's about teaching that horse how to control that cow. And to me, there's two ways to control a cow. You either got to rope it or you got to get far enough to the outside of it to make it change direction, to stop or to turn. And, and as I'm starting a colt and everything, as I go to getting him broke, the broker, you know, as he goes to getting sure enough broke and, and kind of gets to getting a feel for that cow, I'll just track and track the cow for Lord, just getting, kind of get him cowed up. Then once he goes to cowing up, I go to taking him off of that cow and, and, and spreading him out, which I mean by like moving him across that cow. I start with that cow's head on my leg and then I go to the saddle pad to that horse's hip and then I'll take him length off out there. And the further I take one, I'll help him back to show him to don't panic. You know, it's always, it's not about hurry. That turn is not about hurrying. It's about being patient and, and not panicking and wait till you get committed to a, a direction. Then we'll make our decision as half fast to make our approach. But if a horse is taught from the onset the, to get outside that cow, to stop that cow, and, it's, it, and early on, the horse doesn't realize that it's become a job, a job yet. Ooh, this cow's just wanting to run and run. It does no good to try to go, out, go stop her. So just let that horse chill and relax and travel with that cow until she goes running out of some energy. That turn, and if the cow's gone, don't panic. Go catch another cow. Because the instant that horse hits that stop, the first thing I want him to think is back, like that right there. Back to the cow. Then you step up into that cow and start the process over again. See, and as late as I was right there, not panicking, and backing up through that turn, I held him a little longer through the turn, changes your angle, and you're right where you're supposed to be. All because I didn't panic. That teaches that horse not to panic. Because what I want him to know, if he gets it right, that cow's going to be where it's supposed to. And, uh, but the less things we got to think and worry about, the easier it is to get it right. Pretty good. So what I liked right there was everything was hard and fast, but when that cow left out of there, he was under control, real patient. But that horse learns more responsibility because dad's words were to me that when you train that horse so that when somebody steps up on him and puts their hand down, that horse knows it's his job to go work that cow. And, uh, and, and I was taught that if a horse don't know how to drive a cow, he'll never learn how to control that cow. And, and so what, what we mean by that is that when you drive that cow off to a spot where she can't go any further and she feels threatened, she's going to try to get away. And then, and, if a horse is not used to that, chances are it's going to get away. So you're going to have to run, catch, stop it on the other end or something, you know. And as you do that, uh, you do that enough times. If that horse got any kind of thought process or any want to be good at all, and he will go to figuring out if I get right here and get that cow stopped, I won't have to run all the way to the other end and catch her and then drive her back, you know, drive her back. So it's just part of a, the process of teaching one how to control a cow.